Dance and a stunt show, the inspiration for a new YouTube craze called fence plowing. And uh, the big question is, is this smart? And who invented it? And we've got answers to both right now, Bridget. Yep, because joining us to talk about it is the creator of fence plowing, Adam Schleichhorn, who hasn't done it himself. You came up with the idea yes. and you got other people to do it. Exactly. How do you get other people to run headlong into a fence? Well, it was an old broken down fence. It was right after my cousin went through the hurricanes in central Florida mm -hmm. on his property. And I saw the f couple pieces of fences still there right. in shambles. And my cousin's friend actually is a high, ex high school football player okay. and decided, you know what, if you run full speed, you're going right through that fence. And after a little convincing, he tried it. And, and you thought it'd be funny to do it and then put it on YouTube? Yeah, I, I think it's hysterical. I mean, I, I think it's just this stupid thing that, of course, you know, it takes no intellectual value at all to right. appreciate or to come up with. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, it, it's just a super quirky thing that it, I think it, works. It, it is stupid and quirky. And now there are a whole bunch of uh, fence plowers on YouTube. Mm. But, but here's the problem. A lot of these fence plowers do not own the fences that they're plowing into. Exactly, and you know, of course that's wrong. I mean, I'm not, I'm not for vandalizing at all. It was never meant to be put out there so people could start vandalizing by any right. means. So, it, Do they it's get hurt just, when they run into the fence? I, I mean. He can't feel good. <laughs> it's it, the mom speaking. <laughs> it's not too pleasant, I would say. Uh, you know, they were, they were fine. They were a little banged up. Um, my cousin, who was the second one in my video, kind of got caught in the fence, so he was hurt a little more. Ouch. Yeah. What do you mean, what, by the nails? Well, or? no, no, like, Splinters? the first guy was a really big guy and kind of ran through right. it, no problem. And then my cousin kind of gave up halfway through and didn't go full speed, and all of a sudden, he got caught yeah. right, uh, right in the middle of the okay. fence. So like, uh, he, he was hard a little bit. Those but, you know, two by fours right. uh, are kind of hard to bust. But also, you know, this is after a hurricane, so it's not like they no, were we in the greatest We understand condition. that. We understand in the beginning it was a damaged fence, and that's where this was born, but now it's everywhere. Yeah, well, I mean, the, and what's your you message? seem just as shocked as I Has do. Has it gotten out of hand? Uh, I don't, I don't know. What do you mean by out of hand? I don't, I don't well, a whole bunch of people who, who had fences in the morning uh, <laughs> the day before. That's right. They got these big holes in them. What's your message to people who are doing this? Um, I mean, you know, I don't think it's right to do it to someone else's property. But by all means, if you have a fence in your backyard that needs to be knocked down, like, why not? Why not? We got way too many fences here in this country. What do we need all these fences for? To keep the dogs in? Well, yeah, of course. There's always exceptions to the rule. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Adam, thanks. Look at this. You, you're probably in Wikipedia as uh, somebody who's invented something. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right. Adam Schleichhorn, the creator of fence plowing. Thanks very much. <laughs> Thank you. Want to Thank run you. through our bulletproof windows right now? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's right. give it a shot. Yeah, There's a stunt. All right. All right. Thanks, Adam. Coming up, they got.